Hey guys, it's Sensuki. Uh, in this video, I'll be demonstrating a character concept that I've made called the uh, Super Ruffian. Okay, so I've got an Islander Mao Rogue. I put 21 into Might and 17 into Intellect. Now, in uh, this build, uh, this is the the best attribute uh, array for it, but in when they fix Dexterity, that will probably be uh, viable as well. Um, because currently dexterity and perception are broken and perception doesn't really work with firearms, especially not blunderbusses. So they, don't, they don't actually interrupt, so don't really need that. Um, now the reason I chose Islander Mauer is because they get an extra weapon set. And um, I've also chosen the Arms Bearer Talent, which uh, gives you an extra weapon set. So now I have four weapon sets. Quick Switch, uh, which reduces the weapon change recovery to 0.5 seconds. Penetrating Shot, which reduces your range, attack speed, and allows you to bypass the, uh, armor. And Weapon Focus Ruffian, which increases your accuracy with blunderbusses. Okay, so I've got a character here equipped with four blunderbusses. I'm going to turn on Penetrating Shot. And the idea is to fire off these guns as fast as possible. Now, this character is built to be good with blunderbusses. So the Rogue has Sneak Attack, um, which in the first two seconds of combat, you get a damage bonus. And also, you get a damage bonus against targets that have a status affliction. So I'm going to use my other characters here to try and inflict status affliction so that the rogues <laughs> can score a sneak attack on all these attacks. And I'm also going to use um, these three special attacks here, which also give me bonus damage and inflict a, an affliction on the target. Okay, so I'm going to open combat with the dwarf. Okay. Now I'm going to blinding strike the ranger. As you can see, she's been jibbed. Um, let's see, what do we got? Okay, so three crits and a graze, and she is dead. 17, 17, 14, 17, 20. Um, and she, as you can see, she's exploded. All right, now I'm going to change guns. I'm going to uh, crippling strike this guy. All right, so he took seven hits instead of eight. For some, oh, no, oh no eight, eight shots. 10, 9, 8, 8, etc, etc. What I've, I think the fighter's knockdown uh, actually missed him, so I would have killed him if I had done that. So I should have done that next time. I'll switch gun to my next gun. Now, for some reason, quick I don't think quick switch worked on that, on that one. Alright, so that guy died. Uh, one gray, six hits. Yep, he's down. And changed to the final gun. Now, that one actually worked properly. Alright, so let's get rid of this guy. Uh, for some reason, the auto attack told my character to attack a different one, and she <laughs> jibbed another one of the characters. All right, uh, we'll just kill these two remaining guys. So yeah, that's that's the power of this build. You can uh, whoops, you can drop um, a few guys in rapid succession, and then you can't do anything for the rest of combat because you got you got to reload. I haven't been paying, paying attention, so Medrat's actually <laughs> killed my rogue. And there we go. So uh, the Super Musketeer with um, fast firing firearms is actually a very effective build. Now this character is level 8 and only one of those guns was available in the back of Vader. I summoned the other ones in along with the hat and the outfit just to go with it as well. But all the items will be available in the full game and this should be a pretty funny build if you attempt it. Thanks for watching guys and look forward to the next video.